You know how this works, three minutes on the clock, speed date. Let's go. How many kids do you want? Let's do five boys and seven girls. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What's your biggest turn on? Dominance. What are you looking for in a relationship? There has to be uh, sexual compatibility. Oh, I am a submissive, so. Would you model male lingerie for her lingerie Fuck line? Yes. Oh, nice. Fuck Love yes. It. Well, probably thanks for coming through. Dang. I just got out, you know, seven days in, so I gotta <laughs> go check in with my PO. All right, welcome to Shoot Your Shot. I'm Thompson, and today we have a very special guest, Miss Jessica Sanook. Hello. One of my really good friends. We've been friends forever. I know, it's been like how many years? Like five years. Oh God. Like five years. It's what the hell? Like seriously, <laughs> five years. That's nuts. I feel like I met you yesterday. I know, it's time just flies by. It's insane. Yeah, I remember like being in the Woodland Hills house and you coming over and us doing videos together. <laughs> and then um. here we are. The good days. Back in the, oh, we're, we're still in the good days. <laughs> no, that's true. That's true. <laughs> the better days now. So this is Jessica Sanok. She's a famous Instagram model. How, how would you describe yourself? Um, yeah, I guess Instagram model, uh, freelance model, just doing modeling work. Yeah. And she's working on a clothing line, right? Yes. Maybe some of these guys can model some of your lingerie Ooh, if they're open-minded. Um, so it's a high functioning lingerie inspired line for uh, men and women. Oh, beautiful. Yes. So definitely I need some male models. Um, what kind of pieces do you have for men? Honestly, so I've been working on Crotchless that. panties? Yes, exactly. Or like, is it like <laughs> penis, like huggers, like little sweaters for the, um, I'm trying for your to member? I'm great at like fishnet, but you know, Ooh. different types of styles. Yeah. You know? Yeah. People are more open-minded these days, right? So like. You know, guys are wearing cute things for girls. What's your favorite thing a guy for a guy to wear for you? Um, I love suits. suits. I love uh, a man in a suit. Oh, nice. What about in the bedroom? Would you ever have them dress up as like as a fireman or a policeman or something? Oh, definitely. Would yes. that be man. fun? Oh yeah, man in uniform. Who doesn't love that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what are you looking today, date wise? Like, what kind of like um, questions do you have for these guys? Do you think? Honestly, I'm not really quite sure. I guess uh, I'm really into personality. Yeah. So I don't necessarily have a type. It's just based off of how they are as a person. Yeah. You know? That's yeah. what captures me. The personality. That sounds nice. That's really nice. What about the looks? Honestly, looks grow on me. So it could be okay. any kind of look. Um, so as long as you're like connecting like emotionally, the looks will come. Like exactly. it's not a big deal. Exactly. That's I can fair. get really into a certain look, but it's only because I'm obsessed with that person. Because you're obsessed with the person. That makes total sense. Are you looking to have a family one day, get married? Definitely. Or are you more like open relationship? Or are you done with the open relationships? So I've done open relationships and I I think I'm done with those. I don't think that- um, mm. Not successful? No, it doesn't work out in the end. I mean, I'm, I, I, I'm open to it, but I think that going forward, I need to kind of just like have rules, boundaries, settle down. Um, you know, just looking to commit to somebody and have them yeah. committed to me, you know? Yeah, that's fair. Commitment, I feel like, is lost on this generation right now. But maybe that's because we're in L.A., you know what I mean? I feel like everybody in L.A. is like, oh, commit. Like, who cares about commitment? Let's just go have fun and all the rest of it. But I think the rest of the world is like, I think it's different stories, right? Oh, definitely, yeah. I'm sure other states are very much more conservative than yeah. not as open-minded. And there's nothing wrong with long-term committed, you know, healthy relationships is good. And like, you know, you can really push each other to the next level. Cause I feel like sometimes in LA people get too worried about who they're sleeping with next and all this kind of crazy stuff. And then they're actually not achieving their goals in life. They're just achieving their sexual fantasies. And then I don't think that's going to leave you fulfilled when you're 60 year old, 60 years old with no kids <laughs> and you haven't achieved your dreams in life because you were chasing the wrong things. Exactly. You have to focus on uplifting and building an empire. Yes, exactly. So Not I think, worried. so that's what you're looking for, I feel like too, right? I feel like you're looking for the guy who's going to compliment you and help you get to your goals and make you feel fulfilled in life and not somebody who's going to, you know, take from you and kind of push you down and make you feel bad for, you know, for whatever. Definitely. I definitely need someone who's going to motivate me and push me to be um, my best self. And yes. Same for him, you know, your significant other is supposed to be a mirror for you, uh, you know, show each other your flaws and where you can improve and be your best self. Yeah, like one thing I've like noticed is a lot of the guys that I see that are like billionaires, like top guys, right? They find a girl who compliments them, who helps them and they, they lock them down and they're done. A lot of these big businessmen, you do not see them just like, you know, floating around with all these different women all the time. They have one girl, they have a family, like the woman takes care of like, 
her side of things, he does his side of things. And because they're working as a team, they're getting double the amount of work done and they're working as a unit and that's what makes them successful and brings them happiness. Exactly. And I think people get lost thinking that happiness is like sleeping with as many people as possible or <laughs> all these different experiences. And I, I don't think that's the actual truth. Should we bring out the first DT? Oh, uh, yes. Let's do okay. it. Let's bring him out. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. Very excited. Oh, here he comes. The first contestant. I'm excited. I'm I'm really excited for these dates and see how they go down. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Take a seat. I'm doing how fantastic. Doing good. How are Grab you? Grab one of those microphones. You know how this works. Three minutes on the clock. Speed date. We're going to have some fun here. Yes. All right. Ready? And let's go. So what's your name? Uh, my name is Jessica. Jessica. Josh. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? Um, so I was raised in North Carolina. Okay. I was stationed there for a bit. Oh, wow. Really? Yep. What part? Uh, Jacksonville. Nice. I, I like Jacksonville. Yeah, it was a or uh, Lejeune. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nice. Do you, uh, did you like North Carolina? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> yeah, no, I, that's why we're here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> so what are you looking for in a relationship? Ideally, a life partner, someone I'm compatible with, someone I am eager to come home to every night. Right. Um, someone I, the conversation flows for hours, never gets boring. Right. And we just always enjoy each other's company. Mm -hmm. Deep conversations. Yeah. Nothing that's like not meaningful yeah. and kind of boring. <laughs> and uh, obviously there has to be uh, sexual compatibility as well. And Definitely. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> Have you been in a um, relationship before where there was like no sexual compatibility? It was just more, I guess, uh, social? No, not really. Yeah, no. I, I have been. It's... Not good. What's more important to you, friendship first and then the sexual compatibility or sexual compatibility and then the friendship? Oh, that depends. That's tough, man. It, de it depends on the situation. Mm. It's very difficult to take it from a friend level to a sexual level. The other way is easier. Mm. Se starting out with sexual and then taking it to a friend level, that's much easier. What about you, Jess? What do you, what do you prioritize? Um, I could agree with that. You, I definitely, it's very important to have the sexual compatibility because when things get not easy if you don't find someone attractive then you just find them ugly inside and out and then that yeah. just sucks <laughs> but what if they have an amazing personality do you know find them like you kind of get there with it or not really um they could have an amazing personality but then that's they just smell like, bad and it's just you know game uh, over yeah no. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't work <laughs> you always have to have um be attracted to your partner what's your biggest turnoffs like one each let's hear biggest turnoffs chewing with your mouth open oh hey. Yeah. Oh. I can't handle it. Yeah, it's just like... I get irrationally angry. <laughs> <laughs> irrationally angry, that's funny. I can agree with that. It just gets annoying. You're just sitting there like, oh, I hate you. Just stop what's, it. Yeah. <laughs> what's your biggest turn off, Jess? Uh, definitely hygiene. I mm. cannot stand someone who's just dirty and stinky. Like Jess is very <laughs> clean and organized. Very clean and organized. <laughs> yes, definitely have OCD. <laughs> I, I, I know the feeling. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you just want to keep up after everything and have everything, you know, as perfect as you can get it. <laughs> yeah. So what kind of stuff are you into? Um, I'm very into work. I love to, uh, you know, always be improving myself, uh, pushing the people around me. Um, that's something I'm very passionate about. Okay. What do you Time's up. Let's do one final question each. What do you guys got? Uh, let's see. So what was your um, longest relationship? Two years. Two years. Nice. Yeah. Wow. How are you? Seven years. Oh, wow. <clears throat> I've always been in very long-term relationships. <laughs> okay. Ser serial monogamous. I like that. Yes. Yeah. Yes, definitely. I am always been monogamous. I've been in relationships where I've allowed my partner to be open, but that doesn't work out very well. Have you ever been engaged or married? I have been engaged. Same. Nice. Yep. nice. But no marriages either? Nope. Oh. Well, thanks for coming through. Thank you. Appreciate it. So what did you think of him? I liked him. He was sweet. Uh, yeah. Very proper, well put together. Um, I definitely appreciate that. I love someone that has their shit put together. He looks like he takes care of himself. Oh, yes. Definitely. He looked clean. Yeah, he looked very healthy. Yeah. I, I love health. That's very important to me. Yeah. So maybe a potential suitor? Yeah, definitely. I could, I could see that working. Oh, let's see what the next guy has to bring. Well, you got any questions you think you want to ask the next guy? Like anything in, in particular? that you're really interested about or like you want to make sure that your partner has? Uh, as long as he has goals and um, aspirations, that's yeah. very important. It could be to be the best trash man in the world. That's fine. So you don't like lazy people? 
oh no, I can't, no. That's so. because it's not, it, then they're not happy. And if they're not happy with themselves, they can't be happy in a relationship. Yeah, that's true. That's very important. What's your biggest goal currently? Um, my biggest goal is just being my best self, you know? I'm yeah. Still, you know, I still think I'm young, so trying to figure out my retirement plan and yeah. figuring out what my end goal is in life, you know? Do you have a family? I have, um, I don't have like kids or anything. But do you want to have kids? Oh, definitely. Yes. How many kids do you want? I want two boys. Two boys? That's it? Yeah, ah. I, mean, I more kids, but I think. I mean, I mean, I mean like that's it. Like <laughs> two, <laughs> two is fantastic. Don't get me wrong. I got all these babies. So I just pop them that. out. <laughs> <laughs> two is, two is a good number. Oh, welcome, welcome. Welcome How to the you? show. So, oh God, how you doing? Little speed date here. We're gonna have three hey, minutes up? on the Jonathan. clock. What's your name? Uh, Jessica. What's up, Jessica? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, we can. What's up, oh, buddy? What's up, man? How you Good doing? See you again. Hey, nice so to see you. So we do three minutes on the clock. You guys know what to do. A little speed date here. Let's take it away. <laughs> Let's go. So, uh, where are you from? I am from Baltimore, Baltimore, Maryland. Wow, nice. Yeah, yeah. I'm from uh, North Carolina. Hey, that's what's up. It's not too far from Baltimore. I think I've driven over there uh, once or twice. Not too far. What part? Uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. Oh, I love Raleigh. Really? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I have. Oh, nice. For well, homecoming. Uh, what were you doing over there? Oh, just for like my boy's homecoming. Oh, nice, nice. What'd you uh, think of Raleigh? Uh, it's pretty cool, pretty chill. Um, but I had a great, <laughs> I had a great fucking time. Good. I really did. So thank you for your, your home city showing me hospitality, <laughs> showing me a good time. But what about you? Tell me about you. Um, so I was raised in North Carolina. I moved out here when I was around... Uh, 19, I believe. So I've been out here for probably seven, eight years. Uh, nice, nice. Uh, I work as a model online. I can um, tell. You look good. You look fucking great. <laughs> Thank you. You look great. Uh, what do you do for work? Uh, primarily acting. I'm a model as well. Oh, nice. Um, and shit, that's, that's the direction we're going. You feel me? Obviously, you know, I have... <laughs> Obviously, I've done a few things in life. You know what I mean? Um, I got my side hustles, but acting and modeling, let's get it. Let's go up. Right. Let's make these fucking billions for real. Hell yeah. I love that. I love uh, it. <laughs> would you model male lingerie for her lingerie Fuck line? Yes. Oh, nice. Fuck love yes. it. Perfect. Let's do it. <laughs> I love a fellow model where we can just crush it together. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yes. Come on. I mean, Y'all see me? You like, guys have oh, cute babies too, up? right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That'd be, uh, hell yeah! Oh my god, oh, you you mix with me? Shit, <laughs> we'd have some very interesting babies. How many kids do you want, boys or girls? Uh, let's do let's do five boys and seven girls. Oh my gosh! <laughs> you want me to pop out all these babies? Twelve of them, five <laughs> You're boys. You're gonna be very very busy. <laughs> Holy shit, Jess! You got the next. You got a twelve year plan right there. All right. There's your retirement plan. <laughs> Holy shit! That, I guess that means we're gonna have to get rich. So <laughs> all right, let's start. I mean, shit, we could start today. What's up? <laughs> Exactly. What's, what's up? I love a man with a plan. <laughs> um, so are you a workaholic? Absolutely. The hustle. I mean, this is L.A. The hustle is the hustle. You know what I mean? Like yeah. We, we, uh, every day. Right. Every day you can make an opportunity happen. You got to make it happen. Exactly. You I know love what it. I mean? What about you? Um, I'm definitely a workaholic. I am very passionate about working. Um, that's what makes me feel complete is when I uh, always am working. Working, finding your purpose, getting a bag. That's it. Exactly. You know what I mean? <laughs> Every day. Love it. That tat is so fucking cool and oh, like unique. You. It's cool. This <laughs> red one is, is nice. Thank you. Most people actually don't notice it. Do you have any uh, tattoos? Um, You know what? I have one. You know, I need, I need so many more. I stopped getting tattoos specifically for acting. Right. You know what I mean? But, um. Shit, I want a Ooh. fucking ton of tattoos. Oh, Time tattoos. is up. Let's do a That's final it? question each. All right, cool. What do you guys got? Um, so are you looking for marriage anytime soon? Uh, marriage, I think, I don't know if it's for me. No. You feel me? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have to be the right girl because I'm going to just be real right now. Like, I feel like I need, like, when I get married, like, we need to have enough bedrooms, like, two or three nights out the week. I need to, I get hot. So, like, I, I don't like to be, like, all cuddled up and fucking sweating every night. I just right. like to chill. No, I understand. You feel me? What about you? Um, I'm definitely looking for marriage. But when I sleep at night with my significant other, I roll to the other side of the bed. Hey, <laughs> I like listen. The that fucking works with me. I like a little bit of space. I get hot. Just get so a nice I'm California not, king. I, exactly. And you guys are exactly. Set. We good. And then, you know, at 3 a.m. when we want to roll over to each other, let's do that shit, too. Exactly. There you Start go. Start off going to sleep. Perfect. Well, thanks right. for coming through. It's nice to meet you. Thank you, brother. Oh, shit. Oh. Appreciate you. Of course. 
So what do you think about him? The no marriage thing, is that a deal breaker? Yeah, kind of a deal breaker for me. Because it's like, where are we going with this? Then? Yeah. At this point, it's kind of, you know, then that's more of like a, uh, a partnership, which I can appreciate, but, you know, I think I'm past that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you want to find the person who's going to marry, have the two kids, maybe not 12. Maybe 12 kids out of wedlock might be a little bit, uh, that's a little bit crazy. Baby mamas. <laughs> I think he maybe he wants to do the Nick Cannon approach. Is it Nick Cannon? I think he has like 10 baby mamas yeah, or something. He has actually, like 20 kids. One of my friends is one of his baby mamas. No way. Yeah. Well, like DMX, right? I think both of them had so like so many kids. Yeah. Some people, they, I mean, that's what they want. And how do you convince so many people to have kids with you? Like, how do you do that? Money. It's just the money factor? I, you know what? Like, how do you even plan for that? How, how does a child support work? Like that many children? Like, I don't know how that works. Right. I have no clue. I that's not in the plans for me. Two kids. <laughs> Just Let's keep it simple. Maybe two or three. <laughs> maybe two or three. Two or three. All right. Here we go. Bringing the next the day tea. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hi. How are you? Good. What's your name? Uh, Jessica. Jessica. Nice to meet you. I'm nice Cuse. All right. So we're gonna do three yeah. minutes on the clock. Ask any questions you guys like. Let's get into it. So uh, I'm from North Carolina. Love Where are that. you from? I'm from the East Coast. I'm from Syracuse, upstate New York. Nice East Coast boy like me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm big into tattoos. I like your your red on your face, guys. Is that an angel? What is that? It is an angel. Most people oh. actually have no idea what it is. Oh, yeah. I could read you. I got devil horns. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah. I think people people misinterpret the, the devil sometimes. They see oh, really? it as like a negative thing. but What do you see it as? I think he has a job. And, you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing you know i don't think it's so bad either right yeah. <laughs> but i um i love new york uh, i know me too i actually grew up with a family from uh, long island all and, that yeah love new york it's i love to visit there all the time miss it for sure are you into bald guys i am actually my ex-boyfriend was bald <laughs> right on <laughs> do you prefer bald handsome. guys or guys with hair or no preference um i actually don't have a preference hmm. but you know i do like bald i think it's very classy i don't got no type yeah, hey. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I like that you like tattoos because I have a lot of them. But okay, um, you have more than me. Oh no, probably oh, not. Okay. I have like, I actually don't know how many I have, but they're like I have one on my neck. This is one of my uh, newer ones. Oh, I just got one last week too on my neck. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Hollywood, I like that. Yeah, it's my it's my little brother's name. Oh really? Yeah, that's a good name. Yeah. I like that. Blaze Hollywood, shout out, little bro. <laughs> yep. So what are you looking for in a relationship? I'm not looking for anything. I just attract. Right. Ooh. Just kind of yeah. see where it goes and Absolutely. Vibes. Yeah, no expectations. I can see you're attracting that fly right there, see? Yeah. He's absolutely. attracting all kinds. I'm a magnet. <laughs> He's a magnet. I'm a fucking magnet. <laughs> what are you it. looking for? Um, same thing. Uh I'm not necessarily like looking for a relationship, but if it comes, you know, then right you know, it's meant to be. Yeah, I'm a lover boy down at heart. Oh, I love For the that. right person, but how many kids do you want? Or do you um, want kids? I do want kids, absolutely. Um, I don't know how many I want. Like I said, I don't live with expectations, but I would just love for as many as that I could handle. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm gonna be a good dad too. So Oh, there you go. I can yeah. see that. You seem like you'd be a good dad, a family guy. Very much so. Yeah. <laughs> I see myself having probably like two boys. I think I would love to have two boys. Some twins. Oh my god. I would love to have twins that'd yeah. be amazing just get Me it too. over with at once you know yeah. <laughs> love that yeah, how old are you um i am 26 26 i'm 29 wow nice yeah, yeah. so we're both in our 20s yeah and what's your sign <laughs> i'm a taurus taurus oh you're stubborn as fuck yes Damn. it's a good thing and a bad thing yeah well, I am a submissive, so I, yeah. can, I bend my rules for the right person. Right on. I love that. <laughs> oh, time is up. Let's do final questions. One final question each. Okay. Ladies first. Um, what are your biggest red flags in someone that you don't like? Honestly, just lying. I, like, I don't really give a fuck what someone is doing. As long as they're being like real with me, right. that's cool. But if you're going to like lie to me and I know you're lying... I can't even fuck with you on a like a friend though. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's just stop point at that point. I completely agree. That trust is the biggest thing in a relationship. You have to have it. And uh, what's your biggest turn on? My biggest turn on yeah. is bold men with tattoos. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> oh, definitely tattoos. Yes. Yeah. But dominance. I love a dominant uh, alpha male. Is there uh, any of ta my tattoos that stick out to you that you like the most? I can't help but love your playboy tattoo. Or 
Playboy? Yeah, I really yeah. like the Playboy tattoo. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a Playboy, so. <laughs> well, thanks it. for coming through. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. It was a pleasure. Was a pleasure. Yeah. Oh, having me. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cues is out. Can you tell I make people nervous? Can I tell you make people nervous? Yeah. Yeah, they seem a little nervous. <laughs> what, do you, why, what do you think that is? Why is that? I honestly have no idea. Like, I just know, notice I make people very nervous. Yeah. I feel like I'm like, cause I'm the opposite. Like women don't make me nervous at all. That's probably cause you have a lot of experience with females. You know? Yeah, I think so. Oh, here we go. Final date. <laughs> Are you excited? I am. Welcome, welcome. Take a seat. What's that? Final Hi. date. How, How do you feel to be the last? Save the best for the last. Save the best for the last. There <laughs> we go. It. There it's we go. Confidence. All right, so we have three minutes on the clock. Let's get straight into it. Okay. So what is your sign? Cancer. What about you? I'm a Taurus. Oh, you know we're compatible, right? Yeah. <laughs> like we're a great fit. Really? Everyone's jealous, jealous of our type of relationship. Wow. I actually did not know that. Oh, yeah. I could see that because cancers are very nurturing and caring. And Tauruses, we like uh, stability. Y'all stand on business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what are you into? What's your thing? Um, so I am a Instagram model. Okay. Um, well, not just Instagram, but I do modeling in general. Okay. All right. What do you do? Um, I do stand-up comedian work. I am a sketch comedian artist, and I also do women a lot. No, I'm just joking. Oh. joking. <laughs> he does women. <laughs> I'm just joking. I love it. <laughs> just a little bit of my comedy. I, lo <laughs> I love someone that can make me laugh. That's always how you capture my heart is just... I'm laughing all the time, then I'm happy. <laughs> I feel like that the, the way to a woman's heart is making her laugh. Like mm -hmm. opening up conversation, I always start with a smile. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. The tattoo. What's that? Oh, it's an angel. Oh. Like that, that tattoo has definitely been brought up quite a bit. <laughs> yeah. I think it um, catches people off guard. I don't seem like the kind of person that would have a face tattoo, maybe. I got a couple myself. I noticed. I like it. Thank you. I love face tattoos. I want more, but I'm like, Jessica, no more tattoos. Just calm down. You don't mind me asking. How tall are you? I, well, I thought I was five foot two, but my mother always says I'm five foot, so. Perfect. <laughs> I'm I like tiny. It. Yeah, yeah, let's measure each other. Let's stand up back to back. <laughs> oh. oh, there we go. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect, Perfect height. Yeah. Perfect height. fit like Legos. I love it. <laughs> we got to get connected. Yes, definitely. I like it. How long have you been um, in LA? Five years. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Hollywood, by the way, Hollywood. Oh, Hollywood. But I'm a Cajun boy. You heard me? Ah! love it <laughs> love cajun food oh yeah mm. so you like spicy uh -huh. are you oh. spicy oh my i can't eat unless it's spicy it has really? to be i'm that kind of girl that has tabasco in my purse word yes oh i'm in love <laughs> that's true louisiana i remember you telling me this before <laughs> this it is better be louisiana hot sauce i love all hot sauce okay but, um, i got some seasonings for you i want to try i want you to try yes can you cook um, gosh, yeah. we go crazy. We from the <gasps> south, you heard me. You know, as Tauruses, we like our food. I do. <laughs> I love Tauruses. Really? I do. Oh, yes. You've uh, dated Tauruses before? I did. I nice. fucked it up. Oh, yeah. How did you fuck it up with a Taurus? <sighs> because I just, I wasn't as honest as I should have been. I learned a lesson. Well, that's what they're meant for, you know? Mm -hmm. Relationships are meant for lessons. Ooh. Yeah. Time is up. Let's do a final question each. Okay. <laughs> what have you got? <laughs> you go first. Um... What's your favorite thing to do? Um, I love to work. I'm a workaholic. Okay. I always have to be doing something to improve myself. It's just, it makes me happy. I fuck with it. <laughs> uh, what about you? Um, I like to make people laugh. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, so important. That's my favorite thing to do. Smiles all day. Oh, I love it. It's very important to make people smile. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, probably thanks for coming through. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let me get out Nice little chill day. I just got out, you know, seven days in, so I got to <laughs> go check in my PO. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring in the producer and see if she has any thoughts before we make a decision, right? Because, Jess, okay. who, do you, who do you feel out of out of the four lovely gentlemen that you have been on a date with today? Who mm. are you feeling? It's hard because, like I said, I don't have a type, but I love a businessman, but I also like you know, a bad boy. Yes. She loves bad boys. <laughs> I don't know who to pick. 
Um, I feel like they're all gentle souls, these guys. I, you know what I mean? Yeah, I thought, do you know what? I, like, out of everybody was trying to read the guys, right? And the guy with tattoos, I actually feel like he's the softest out of all of them. He just I, puts yeah. that fake face, you know, and like all his tattoos are screaming out. But I generally think he's a really nice person. And I, I think like he would be like a really nice home guy, you know, who would be like, who'd want to have kids, be a good dad, look after you. Like, I really do. Yeah, I can see him being loyal. Um, like you guys are like an odd match, but a kind of good match in a weird way. Yeah, I don't know. I and feel I like also, you guys had a good date. I also like that last guy, you know, because yeah. his his head seems head seems in the right place, you know. And he was like genuinely interested about what you do, and you know, he knows his science. You are into science as well, yes. you know, and um, just if I felt like there was like a bit more connection, but obviously it's, it's obviously, your choice. Yeah, it's obviously. your choice. But I'm just saying from like the side. When I when I when I watched it, um, yeah, no, it was good. It was good. Who are you feeling? Uh, I mean, all three of them were had really good qualities. It's really hard to pick because I love personality, so I have to kind of get to know someone better. But um, I guess I'm feeling so hard because the last guy it was very easy to talk to him, but the guy with the tattoos, I can tell. He seems like a ride or die. Like, you know, he'll yeah, hold it down. Yeah, definitely. I love see, that. I, I see yeah. that in him too. <laughs> yeah. Even though he puts that like face and stuff, I, I genuinely think he's like a big bear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can tell he has uh, morals and I like I love that. Someone yeah. with standards, morals, and they hold to them, mm -hmm. you know? And he seems a little toxic too, which keeps things interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I like toxic. <laughs> so who you got? Who are the two picks going to be? Um, I would probably say him and the first guy. First guy? Uh, the, Josh, was his name? The fitness trainer? Yeah. Oh, was he a fitness trainer? Yeah. Oh, great. He might be. <laughs> Just, Just <like>. your type. <laughs> All right, okay. let's bring them both out and yeah, see what happens. Course. Yeah, let's do it. What kind of questions you got for them? What, what do you think you need to know? What do you need to know that we haven't found out yet? Uh, what are we missing? I guess I have to know what their type of girl is. Like, do they like thick, short Asian girls? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, if they don't, that would be a problem. I think they both, <laughs> they both seemed into you, though. They seemed really nice. I feel like they were trying, mm -hmm. especially the fitness trainer. I feel like he was really trying to impress you. Yeah, he seemed he seemed very business oriented, and I have a soft spot for that. I love someone who's into business. Yeah, but loyalty is huge for me. So yeah, that's a that's probably goes above work. Yeah, loyalty. Yeah. Oh, here they come. <laughs> here they come. The big final last date. <laughs> Are you guys excited? <laughs> All right. Come in, take a seat, pick up those microphones. We're going to have five minutes on the clock for this final date. So a little extra time. Um, Jess has a bunch of questions for you, I think. Or maybe not. Who knows? The more who knows? Here we go. Ready? Five minutes on the clock. Let's get straight into it. Okay. Um, so what are your thoughts on loyalty and monogam monogamy? <laughs> loyalty is royalty. Absolutely. Nice. I like that. It's pivotal. I mean, I'm, I would never do like an open thing. So anything that's... If you do something your partner wouldn't be okay with, that's disloyal. That's, you know, right. not monogamous. So right. it's, like it's a, a slap game. in the face. Exactly. It's like a board game. You have rules. And if you break a rule, that's cheating. Yeah. <laughs> um, what are you guys looking for in a long-term relationship? Or are you looking for a long-term relationship? Loyalty. Loyalty. So the answer is yes. Uh, loyalty. You want someone that you're emotionally and romantically and sexually and lifestyle wise compatible with someone that you are excited to come home to every night. Right. And, uh, someone that, you know, is your motivation for, uh, for doing what you do. I think it's different for men than it is for women for sure. Uh, just personally for me as a man, um, I'm not looking like in a long term, I'm not looking for someone to take care of me or I'm not looking for someone to motivate me. Um, I take care of myself, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking for someone to take care of, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm a leader, so at that point, I'm not really looking for someone to do something for me other than have that loyalty. Loyalty is really all a woman could offer me because I have everything else I need. Right, like yeah. hold it down. Everything, yeah. And then if all that other stuff just come automatic with it. Right. So. so I think there's something beautiful about the person you're with being like your muse and your... Uh, um, Inspiration. Your inspiration. Right. Yeah. Like the, it's not your motivation. It's, it's your inspiration for being better. Right. You know what I mean? So that's sort of how I view it. Right. I see that. It's like, um, that's how I feel is 
you want to live your own separate lives side by side, but be there to always back each other up. And, exactly. Yeah. You know, be the backbone. You have to be partners in crime. So what do you guys do for a living? Uh, actor, model, retired Marine. Oh, nice. Yep. Nice. I'm a tattoo model. Ah, nice. So we got models. We're all models over yeah. here. Oh, wow. Look <laughs> so at that. Oh, perfect. Shout out to Onyx. Uh, <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Um, do you have any goals, in, like long-term goals? Ain't magazine cover. I'm coming your way. Nice. I feel like you got the right look for it. I think I do too. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. And you? Um, play superhero for uh, either DC or Marvel. I can see ah, that too. I can see yeah. that. Yeah, nice. At least you guys are not delusional. See, they're, they're, they're living in reality, Jess. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, what role is that? Uh, I'm not going to get into that. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's got to be. That would be super dope. I hope you get it. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Yeah, that yeah. sounds awesome. So you both live in LA? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Nice, nice. Three um, years now. Oh, three years. Yeah. Nice. How do you like it? Love it. Nice. I like Never it. leaving. <laughs> I came out here to finish up school in 2017. Um, and stayed. I went home for a little bit during the pandemic, but I've been out here pretty much since 2017. Nice. Uh, where'd you go to school? Uh, New York Film Academy. Ah, oh, nice. They have a campus in New York and LA, so. Ah, oh, so yeah. you have a... Uh... Right down the street from my house. Oh, really? Burbank? Yeah, we live yeah. in Burbank. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. I assumed it was uh, in New York. I was going to ask that. So there's a campus in Manhattan, and there's also a couple campuses in Manhattan, and there's also a couple campuses in Burbank. Ah. Uh, I went. I graduated from the LA campus. Nice. Beautiful area. Yeah. You have to check it out. Nice. Yeah. I like Burbank. I've been over there for the airport a few times. It's like the <laughs> only part of LA that smells good. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, it's quiet and clean. It is. I yeah. like it. I actually think I will name the role that I'm going after for Disney. It's a uh, live action Hercules. <gasps> really? Yeah. Wow. I can see that. Yeah. I really hope you get it. I'm gonna be like, I know him. We went on a date, a sweet <laughs> date. <laughs> I love it. Um, Is there anything you want to tell us about uh, you? So I lived in Hollywood for three years. Um, you are brave. Oh, yeah. I wow. probably won't live there again. It's uh, too fast paced for me. <laughs> um, I definitely like Woodland Hills. That's actually where me and Thompson met. I just moved from Woodland Hills. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I was there, there for about seven or eight months. Oh, nice. Yeah, I loved it. I was in Hollywood first when I came back uh, to L.A. in July of 2022. Mm -hmm. And then I was actually in Hollywood, two different locations. And then Woodland, uh, we moved to Woodland Hills. And now I'm in Encino on the Sherman Oaks line. Nice. Yeah. Nice. It's a good area. It's uh, I feel like it's more affordable. It's low pace. It's low key. You can just relax and you don't have to hear sirens and helicopters all day long and screaming. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys had red flags in a relationship, uh, like if, like what would be something you wouldn't like? Like a red flag for you in the inner woman lying lying yeah. yeah lying disloyalty um i got eyes in the back of my head i'm gonna catch you <laughs> literally <laughs> literally play with me yo um <laughs> love it <laughs> i would say someone who violates your boundaries mm -hmm. um things like that you disrespect know? yeah yeah respect time is up so hey jess give him one final question for a decider to help you make your final decision what's a hard-hitting question that you uh, have for them how do you feel about dating a girl who's on the internet? Like, you know, taking pictures and doing all that, you know? That's super you? cool. I mean, I'm doing that same, so it doesn't bother me. Nice. It'd be hypocritical if it bothered me. Good, my ex-wife did not like that. <laughs> yes. Perfect, so who, who's it gonna be? Who, do, who are you vibing with the most? Who, do, who are you feeling? So Is anybody hard. giving you tingles? Well, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> what? Ah, uh, it's, it's very hard, you know? Um, is because it? the lo yeah, because the loyalty is really big for me, and so is work, and I feel like we're all on the same page here with that. Um, I'm not sure. What do you? I mean, who do you think I'd be more compatible with as know. my best friend? I can't. I can't make the decision for you. Oh I wish I could. How do you guys feel about her? I think you're very attractive. Thank you. Is this your ideal type, like or like? I don't really have a type. Okay. What about yourself? I do have a type. What's your type? Um, uh, my type would be short girls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's short. Pretty faces. She's got a pretty face. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is not I helping. Not, us. I did not this say. Is not helping she, us. I did not say she wasn't my type. Yeah, this is true. So this is true. You asked me what my type was. All right, Jess. Uh, um. Hmm. Come on, I'm Jess. A very indecisive person. You yeah, can do it. Clearly. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Gosh. Um. We didn't expect these the dates to go so well. Thing? Right. Who does mm. she think I'm more compatible with? Yeah, who do you think? 
<laughs> Wait, come in, come in. Yeah, come on in. Join us. <laughs> All right. Okay, so basically, I have been describing both of you to Jessica earlier because okay. obviously we had to talk about what I think. So I think you put in a thing on and you're actually a big, nice, cuddly bear that, you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's so true, though. That's crazy. But um, assumptions are wild out here. I know. know it is crazy. However, currently from this interaction, I personally think that you are more compatible with her because I feel like you, even though you're working really hard and you got a big thing about loyalty, I think your red flags would overcome a lot of things, and your red flags would be a big toxic, um, like a big toxicity in a relationship. So I feel like you like you are a bit more safer side but then at the same time she does like a bit of a toxicity in her relationship as usual so it's it, just a gemini thing i think it really is a thing but a lot um, of people can handle them yeah what do you think i have no opinions wow no, yeah. i cannot persuade the guest have a little bit of time i have to be to neutral i'm no, switzerland no, here no. i genuinely Bounce. think that one of you should fight for her i mean you're here two of you are here to date this girl right so she chose one of you and none of you are actually trying to be like yeah pick me i'm i'm gonna be good with you so like none of you are actually trying i wouldn't do that with See? anyone though so I you, you couldn't take that personally would. that's cool for sure but are you doing it everyone what are you doing it right now yes what I'm doing. Are you? Yeah. That did not <laughs> come through. Oh. <laughs> you need to try harder. <laughs> the text message went through green. <laughs> um, gosh, man. <laughs> um, if you if you really if you really thinking guy, so. if you're really thinking about it that hard, just do what your heart thinks, not what you think. Yeah. Um, What's your gut say, Jess? Mm. Who would you sleep right with? Now? What do you? Uh... <laughs> I guess. I mean, I kind of. I guess I would have to say you since you said you'd fight for me, you know, but I like both of you so much. <laughs> Just, I would have well, to have more dates crying. to get to know. <laughs> It looks like blue shirt is both win. Win. <laughs> could, could, could we both win? This is Shuya Shaw with Thompson. Can, can she pick both <laughs> She of picked us? the blue shirt. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. We'll let you know how the date goes. And anyway, will you guys go on a date. If it doesn't work out. I'm in the area. <laughs> He's in the area. <laughs> so, thank you for having me. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, good luck on your date. Thanks for coming through. Thanks for having me. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. That was fun.